this is Aphonix again. Today we are going to look at how to import HT12E and HT12D IC into Proteus 8.12 so, or any version of Proteus 8 Professional. So click on this link. Mind you, the link to this site is in the description below. Just check it out and follow along. Okay, now we are going down. This is the description about the ICs. Okay, then how to import it into Purchase 8 Professional. Now, here is where you have to download. Okay, all right. Now, here it says that subscribe to unlock the link. Okay, so you have to hit on this link and make sure you hook your brother up so that to help Aphonix bring up more interesting videos like this okay so if you click on this and not it will open and you will be directed to our youtube channel now this question will be asked the same confirm subscription that are you sure you want to subscribe now hook your brother up just say subscribe when you subscribe if you have already subscribed then this message will show sorry something went over well. just click ok and come back to the downloading side go right down then it's now check that you have subscribed so click to download you click on it now you'll be directed to the download folder where you have to download this just right click and then go to download then it will download in a zip format okay as we can see it's here all right now that we have downloaded it here just right click and say extract here it will be extracted here now here is the folder okay these are the components so we hit on straight to purchase it the version of Proteus 8 I'm using is 8.12. If you want to get um, this version, you can check in the description below. you find link to how to download this particular version. Okay, then you go straight to this um, library. Then imports parts. From here, you have to select where the file is. So you say, okay, click. Now, here is the folder then first i'm going to take ht12e that is the encoder you say open yeah. then it you click on this one import part this will appear to write the name i will write the name as ht a okay so click on next then file name that is the pcb file say ht okay 12 e all right say okay place it with that okay now that this device name will be this say next now from here just click on next so this is the name of the package we just say ht 12 a say next okay say next so okay now it has been imported you see device import complete okay now you click on this again go for d ht12d click okay now is click on import part the same name say h ht 12d that will be the name say next okay so the pcb name will be ht 12d okay now this will appear this is the name you want say next this is the footprint say next and then next next say okay the say device import complete okay now you can close this one you see they appeared here so you now have your ICs okay
so guys this is how you go about in importing this ht12d and ht12e if you want to make use of them again just go to your library type ht12 you see they will appear here ht12d and ht12e so this is all i have for you today thank you don't forget to subscribe to Afronix for more videos